Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at rounding numbers. This is part one of this um, two part video series. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we've got about five questions to look through in this um, little short video. The first question here is we've got a distance of a marathon is 26,489 meters. Just going to quickly write that down 26,489. Now, the question is asking us to round this distance to the nearest 10,000 meters. So, if you look at the nearest 10,000 meters, we're really looking at um, this highlighted number here because that's the place value of 10,000. So, it's two is the place value of 10,000. So, we really got only two answers here. So, we've got either 20,000, which is you know, the lower end of the 10,000 or 30,000. Now what we have to do is we just have to figure out whether 20,000 is closer or 30,000 is closer to the actual number. And the kind of the quick way to look at it is to look at the number after the two here. Now, in this case, it's six. So we can kind of say that uh, 26,000 is probably a lot closer to 30,000 compared to 20,000. So the answer we're going to be looking for in this case uh, will be... Uh, all right, so question two, what we've got is we've got a classroom of 36 students and we are running this number to the nearest 10 so if we're now running to the nearest 10 so remember 3 is um, in the tens um, well it's the place value for tens and uh, so that's what 3 is so we've got two numbers that we could be looking at um, the lower end of that would be 30 or the higher end of that would be 40 and if we look at the number after the 3 we are actually looking at a 6 um, and we can say that 36 is actually closer to 40 compared to 30. So our answer for question two is going to be, uh, not 30, sorry, 40. All right, so next one we're gonna look at is we are looking at a temperature that's been recorded. Uh, what do we got? 78.45 degrees and around this temperature to the nearest whole degree. So this time uh, we've got 78.45. 78.45 is actually between 78 and 79. But remember, we're looking for a whole number, so we don't want really any decimal places. But we still have to look at this number here. Now, it's 0.4. Now, 0.4 is actually much closer to the lower end of that number, so we're going to go with um, 78. Now, if you forget it, I mean, I mean, the, the good trick is like, it kind of they say is like 5 and above, you round up and anything below you kind of um, round down. And I guess that's what we're doing here. So the answer for this question, question number three, is going to be 78 degrees. Question four, I might just pause and give you folks uh, an, an opportunity to try the next two questions. Hopefully you've had a, had a bit of a go at this, but uh, all right, so let's have a look at this. Question four, what we've got is uh, 123,000. $567.89 and we're looking to the nearest hundred dollars so that's going to be looking at the nearest um, number to that so with the five being highlighted here we've only got uh, two numbers that we kind of have to work with because we've got $123,500 or $123,600 and once again, we're going to look at that number after the five, and it is a six in this case yet again. And we are going to be looking at rounding this number up. So the answer is going to be one hundred and twenty-three thousand and six hundred dollars. So again, looking at that sixty-seven, five hundred and sixty-seven is actually closer to six hundred compared to five hundred, um, and so that's why we actually round up. And finally, looking at question five. Question five, we've got 9,876. And we are rounding up to the nearest 100 feet. So if you're gonna near, um, rounding up to the nearest hundreds, that's the hundred space there. And we've got a number that's above five right next to that eight, which means, um, again, I'm gonna show you guys what the other two numbers could be. So we could have, have actually had 9,800 or 9,900. Um, and as you can see, 76, 876 is a lot closer to 9,900 compared to 9,800. So our answer for this one is going to be 9,900 feet. 
So that's just a quick little intro for uh, rounding numbers. Yeah, this is part one, so stay tuned for part two. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.